Hi guys, it's uh, still February 13, 2019. This is an updated report on mass die-offs, insects. The reason why I'm doing this is because many of you leave comments saying, where are the butterflies? The insects are gone. I, in places where I always walked in the woods, I always heard tremendous amount of birds, birds, birds. Now I walk in the woods, it's silent. Between the geoengineering, the frequencies, this Wi-Fi world that we have created, the weather modification, the extreme cold, and the temperatures, the, the extreme range from one day to the next, you're seeing 50 degree differences. And I'm in Anderson, South Carolina, and I've noticed a real decline in the insects and birds. So, a latest uh, review, peer-reviewed journal article, Plummeting Insect Numbers Threaten Collapse of Nature. Pesticides, the increased use of pesticides, our EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, protection, no, the EPA, if you just do the research, and I've posted the videos on this, the EPA allows greater amounts of pesticide roundup greater amounts and what is the result of that well roundup glyphosate the main ingredient in roundup is showing up in our food supply and we're eating it and this what you see right here but of course, when you read these articles, climate change. So the world's insects are hurtling down the path to extinction, threatening a catastrophic collapse of nature's ecosystems. More than 40% of insect species are declining and a third are endangered. The rate of extinction is eight times faster than that of mammals, birds, and reptiles. The total mass of insects is falling by a precipitous 2.5% a year. I would, I would imagine it's even a greater percentage, but uh, this suggests insects could vanish from our planet in a century. We're at the start of a sixth mass extinction with huge losses already reported in larger animals, but insects, essential for the proper functioning of all ecosystems, food for other creatures, pollinators, and recyclers of nutrients. You know, I, I think I saw maybe two butterflies this summer, this past summer. In the four years that I've been here in Anderson, South Carolina, where I walk, you know, at this track, I would always see crows and other birds. I might see one or two. I hardly see any crows. And I do believe that is the result of how concentrated are the cell towers and antennas here in Anderson, South Carolina. That track is between two cell towers. And in fact, I have a story to tell about one of the cell towers, a new one that went up, and I will in another video.
where a man had to move his business because he was so sick. And he, the only thing that he could figure out was that new cell tower that went up in the shopping area where he had his business. So, yeah, unless we change our ways of producing foods, insects as a whole will go down the path of extinction in a few decades. The repercussions are catastrophic, to say the least. Main driver of the declines, pesticide use. Urbanization and climate change are also significant factors, though in this peer-reviewed uh, article in a journal, they didn't mention climate change. They were talking about the pesticide use and the um, these intensive agriculture farms, in other words, corporate farming. Butterflies and moths among the worst hit. The number of widespread butterfly species fell by 58% on farmed land in England between 2000 and 2009. UK has suffered the biggest record uh, recorded insect falls overall, but it could be because there are more studies coming out of the UK. Bumblebee, uh, we're seeing half 50% decline since like 1949. They say the number of adaptable species are increasing in number, but not nearly enough to outweigh the big losses. Uh, the common eastern butterfly, uh, bumblebee, bumblebee, sorry, is increasing due to its tolerance of pesticides. Huh. Okay. Um, new classes of insecticides introduced in the last 20 years, including neonicotinoids and fipronel, have been particularly damaging as they are used routinely and persistent in the environment. They sterilize the soil killing all the grubs. Puerto Rico saw a huge decline. What are we doing here? Can we as ordinary people not get control over those representatives in our government? Can we are we that powerless? We cannot get control over that EPA that continues to allow greater and greater amounts of pesticides, herbicides sprayed. We, I just want to show you. All right, now, I posted a video not too long ago on mass animal deaths. So I'm just going to be reading a few from this list and going through some articles to show you. And it's only a glimpse of the mass animal die-offs all over the planet. Many of those die-offs are related to the U.S. Navy with their sonic testing so you see all of these whales beaching themselves and dolphins dying. and But it also has to do with harp and harp-like structures, the intense, powerful, artificial frequencies that are coming down on Earth to the surface, into the oceans, and it's killing massive numbers of animals, fish, birds. If anybody doesn't understand that it does not make any sense 
that this is climate change. It would you would not see massive amounts like you would not see these mass animal die-offs. You would not see birds dropping from the sky dead in huge numbers. That is not climate change. And please begin to use common sense again and please begin to do some critical thinking because most of these articles of the mass at die-offs, it's a mystery, it's a mystery, it's a mystery. But our environment has changed radically, radically in a very short period of time. Think about the Wi-Fi world. So February 9 of this year, 300,000 cattle dead. The flooding in Queensland, Australia. February 6, 20,000 seabirds suddenly die in the Netherlands. Seven giant deep sea fish wash up dead on the coast of Japan. Thousands of cattle dying due to drought in Australia. So it's flooding that takes 300,000 and it's drought that takes thousands. And if you would, if we could just get through to people that the droughts are engineered as well as the floods. This is not mother nature. Thousands of dead fish floating in a river in Germany. Um, the bee list, millions of bees dead in Cape Town, South Africa, November 2018. October, mass death of bees, Mexico. October, 70 million bees killed due to pesticide, Argentina. September, 40 million honeybees found dead, Brazil. September, mass bee deaths worry producers, Turkey. Thousands of bees die, Colombia, September, August. 72 million bees die in 1,200 hives, Colombia, August. Millions of bees die, Mexico. And the list goes on. In Alaska, starving seabirds and empty colonies signal a broken ecosystem, mass die-offs and breeding failures now ongoing for years. Have marine biologists worried that this is a new normal caused by climate change? Climate change. I don't know about you guys, but these lies that persist and we can't seem to break through are killing all of us. And if you're not utterly disgusted by all of them who lie, all, the scientists, the government officials, the everybody involved, lying, 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 and all those who just are just too lazy to do any research to find out what the truth really is, those who are accepting the lies, then i got to hand it to you. You're obviously a lot happier than a whole lot of us who are really struggling now. Hundreds of blue peng penguins die off, starved, starved by... La Nina, Nina um, this April 2018. Hundreds, potentially thousands, of little blue penguins have washed up dead on beaches along the east coast of Upper North Island in recent months. Really? La Nina? La Nina? Um, the ocean is dying. 
marine and animal animal life die-offs, California coast, Pacific Ocean is turning into a desert. Climate change? No. Fukushima? Absolutely. All of the toxic chemicals that corporations are allowed to dump into waterways, the geoengineering that we see over the Pacific, the dumping of toxic chemicals and heavy metals. No, it's climate change. Mortality mystery. Why all the dead egrets on I-75? Interesting. I-75 egrets, their latest casualty in a shocking series of mass wild die-offs that have claimed manatees, shorebirds, fish, sea turtles, and dolphins. Splayed along Interstate 75. Well, any of you around this area, Corkscrew Road and Golden Gate Parkway? Drive it. Tell us how many Gwen Towers and Cell Towers there are. It's one three-mile stretch. More than two dozen birds sprawled on the shoulder in awkward postures suggesting they had been hit. They were hit with powerful microwaves. Or the low, uh, extremely low frequencies coming out of Gwen Towers. Distemper virus. Distemper virus appears to be the culprit in the deaths of hundreds of seals. Hundreds of seals dead. It's an ongoing mass die off of seals along the New England coast. And this has been going on forever. Do we know if it's really distemper? My hunch, they're lying. Because our Navy is in the waters all over the world using their sonic powers that are affecting all, all life in our oceans. Whales stranded in New Zealand. 50 pilot whales die. What? Climate change? Whales? Dolphins? How do they navigate? Could our Navy doing their sonic testing affect the whales' ability to navigate? Yeah! Hence the reason why we see. We see 50 beached? Did they just lose their way? Of course not. Mass die-off of sea creatures follows freezing UK weather. Starfish, crabs among animals piled ankle deep along parts of the North Sea coast. Crabs, mussels, lobsters have been washed up on the North Sea coast following the recent freezing weather and storms. Okay, this is hard to take, but we have to see the big picture. What mass die-off of an iconic tree says about, yeah, changing climate. It has nothing to do with the geoengineering, the dumping of all of the aluminum, barium, strontium, lithium that is killing off trees. No, we're going to call it climate change.
and International Science Report foresees mass die-off of coral reefs by 2040. What is causing the mass die-off of Russian seals and other animals like them? Starfish. Massive starfish die-off is tied to global warming. January 30, 2019. Since 2013, sea star wasting disease has killed so many starfish along the Pacific coast that scientists say it's the largest disease epidemic ever observed in wild marine animals. Where there used to be dozens of stars, scuba divers now report seeing none. Seeing none. Is it really climate change? Or is it Fukushima and the dumping of all of the toxic nanoparticulates from the aerosol spraying? And then, of course, that fabulous Navy of ours doing their sonic testing, killing off life. Hundreds of thousands of native, native fish in Australia's Darling River have died following a major outbreak of blue-green algae and some severe weather. Just like our blue-green algae outbreak along the uh, western Florida coast. Antelope, rare antelope, mass die-off linked to heat. It's heat, high temperatures, humidity. Made a harmless bacteria lethal. Mass die-off. And a mass die-off in Chile, cuttlefish. February 10, 2019. It's really hard when you know that so much life on this planet is dying off, not because of climate change, not because we're using air conditioning or turning up the heat in the winter, not because we drive cars, but because we have evil, psychopathic, there's no words to describe these people who don't care about anything so they can easily kill off whatever life is around them. And they're in the military, they're in government, they're in mainstream media, they're called meteorologists, scientists. There are so many professions involved in this big cover-up. And I can't stand that we can't we can't get anywhere. That these people are winning. Don't leave a comment telling me that Jesus is going to come back and make it right. Don't do it. Jesus should be inside you, mm, compelling you to do all you can to make it right. But unfortunately, we have few and far between doing just that. So, the other species, the two-legged, also dying. And I've heard from so many of you who are really struggling with very serious, very serious medical issues. And many more of you am I hearing from who know that you're not going to be around 
for for long. What the hell is this life all about? What is it? How is it that so few care? Care. Care even enough to just do some research to get out, to pull themselves from these lies. It's been, it's been known my entire lifetime that our government is filled with liars and the presidents are liars. And we vote for the lesser of two evil. And how is it that we have so many that will live their entire life right smack there, never doing anything to change their psyche. All links are below.